hope it can find its balance as quickly as possible. <sighs> Asia, didn't I talk to you already? I'm kind of torn right now. You know, I'm getting a little old here, and I would like to stop caring for the herd since I have you. You know that. Right. Of course I do, Father. But it's just getting a little hard right now. So, I have two signs picked out. I should pick one quick, because I'm kind of, you know, done with this earth. Thanks, Father. Alright. Him or him? Huh. Hey, Teton. Nice to see you once in a while. I heard the room is going around that you need a stallion. But I don't really go for mares. I'm always a horse with no manhood, if you know. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. Like a gilding kind of thing, right? Um, yeah, that's what I mean. Alright, well, I'm gonna go and leave you to your business. Okay. Finally, I can catch up with you, Bandit. It's been so long since I've really talked to you. I know, right? Finally, we get to have some alone time without somebody bothering us. Things are getting too boring for you, horses. It's time to add a challenge to this world. Hmm. These went on uneventfully. Very uneventfully, actually. Normally, I walked in the dead grass so I could be alone when well, nobody was. It was just easy these days, you know what I mean? I needed a little spice to my life. I wondered how I'd do that. Exactly how to do that, Bandit. You don't worry. Not too long, and you'll be known as the Black Bandit. Strange events began to happen, though. Like, a random horse just came running through, screaming. My back, you filthy creature! Run, run, he's a human! He just stood there and watched us for a really long time. And two strange horses, one of them claiming to be my grandfather, and wanting to talk to my mother about something. I began to worry. I didn't talk to anybody. 